Parents of juniors, the Spring Hill Counseling Department is excited to tell you about this opportunity for your student. Your student who is in his or her third year of high school has the choice to take either the ACT or the SAT during a school day. This school day test administration is being funded by the state, so there is no cost to you. We are going to take a few moments to explain some of the differences between the two assessments so you can make a good choice for your student. Both test administrations will include the essay portion along with the standard test and are comparable in time. They are also comparable in price, so it's a savings of $60 to $62 for you. The ACT has four sections, math, reading, English and science along with the essay. The SAT has two math sections, a reading section and a writing language section along with the essay. On the ACT, a student can use an approved calculator on the math section. The math sections on the SAT are divided into a calculator section and a section where the calculator is not permitted. The good news is that neither test penalizes students for incorrect answers. On the ACT, the types of questions are pretty straightforward. The questions may be long, but typically are easier to understand. On the SAT, the questions are evidence and context-based in an effort to focus on real-world situations and multi-step problem solving. The ACT is scored on a scale of 1 to 36. The student will receive a score for the English, reading, math, and science portion of the test, the four scores are averaged together into the student's composite score. The SAT is scored on a scale of 400 to 1600. A student will receive an evidence-based reading and writing score and a math score. These two scores are added together for the total score. There will be four reading passages on the ACT and five reading passages on the SAT. A key difference in the test is that the ACT has a science section. However, the science section actually tests a student's critical thinking skills or scientific skills more than the content knowledge. Although the SAT does not have a science section, science and social studies context is throughout the reading, writing, and math sections. The math sections on the two tests are similar in content. Both tests include arithmetic, algebra one and two, geometry and trigonometry. The SAT doesn't typically have many questions that are geometry related, but does include some data analysis on the test. One of the biggest differences is that the SAT provides a formula sheet to assist students on some of the calculations while the ACT does not. Again, both tests have an essay portion. On the ACT, the essay test how well a student can evaluate and analyze a complex issue. The SAT tests a student's comprehension of the text. According to the Princeton Review, since the content and style of the SAT and ACT are very similar, factors like how you handle time pressure and what types of questions you find most challenging can help you determine which test is a better fit. For example, the pace of the SAT gives you a tad more time to think through problems, while the ACT can be more of a time crunch. Some students really thrive under the pressure of the clock, while others prefer the extra time to ponder a question. There is free online practice test available for both tests to ensure that students will do well on their assessment of choice. The ACT is scheduled to be administered at Spring Hill High School on February 25th, and the SAT is scheduled to be administered on March 4th. Please remember to complete the Google form before the end of November so we can order the appropriate tests for your student. Follow the Spring Hill Counseling Department on Instagram at Spring Hill Counseling and on Twitter at SHHS underscore guidance. Thanks and have a great day.